Now we're up to lesson two. We've done the skeletal system, so now we're going to look at the muscular system. Turn to page 50 in your workbooks. Now, as in the first video, I'd like you to pause this video and get a piece of paper and write down all the names of the muscles that you can recall from last year that are in the human body. You may like to draw a rough outline of a person on paper so as to be able to label where those muscles are. Just pause the video now and give that a go. Now we're going to look at the muscles on the body. We have an anterior view which is the person facing you and a posterior view. The first muscle we're going to look at is the tibialis anterior which is the muscle on the front of the leg. You can remember this because you know the tibia is the bone at the front of the leg and anterior means front. So we call it tibialis anterior. I don't think you've got that on your diagram but I do want you to label it. So make sure that you put the label in for the tibialis anterior. Next we've got the gastrocnemius, which is the muscle at the back of your lower leg. Oops. It's this muscle here, the back of the lower leg. And then we have our quadricep muscles, which is a group of four muscles on the front of your leg, upper leg. And we've got the hamstrings which are a group of muscles on the back of the leg. Now moving up the body, we've got the gluteus maximus, which is this large muscle here that you sit on, and it cushions your bottom when you sit down. It's the largest muscle in the body. And then at the back of, on, on our backs, in this area here, that is the latissimus dorsi. And on the front of the body, We've got the abdominal muscles. We know them as the rectus abdominis. These are these, this group of muscles here. And then we have the pectoralis major, which is on the front of our chest. And moving further up the body, in the front of the upper arm, we've got the bicep muscles. And in the shoulder, we have the deltoid muscle which is there. And from the anterior side you can see the deltoids there as well but we're looking at the tricep muscles which is on the back of the arm and the trapezius which goes up into the neck and across and down like that there. That's the trapezius muscle just in there. Now we're going to look at a few muscles that I'd like you to label, but they are not, there is no space on page 50 allowed for them, so I want you just to write them in yourself. The first of these is the erector spinae, which is the muscles up in the back here. It's easy to remember, the erector means that they help keep you upright, and the spine, they're just around, circling around the spine area. The other one is your oblique muscles, which are on either side of your rectus abdominis muscle. So th those are your oblique muscles. You can just fill them in. There's space on the diagram there for you to do that. Another muscle I want you to label is your iliopsoas muscle, which is in here. You might know it as your hip flexors. That they, the iliopsoas muscle helps, uh, it is responsible for flexion of the hips. It's a very powerful muscle and helps keep the fem femur and pelvis joints together. You use that when you're cycling, kicking and running. It's called iliopsoas. That's an I-L-I-O. Iliopsoas. So if you could like, mark that in, please. If you could just look back at the lower leg where the gastrocnemius is, 
we have the soleus muscle, which lies partially beneath the gastrocnemius and serves largely the same function. It also shares the Achilles tendon with the gastrocnemius. It's responsible for plantar flexion of the foot. That is plantar flexion of the foot. When you are pointing your foot, like in ballet, you are using your soleus muscle. And the last pair of muscles I want you to label is the flexor digitorum and extensor digitorum. The flexor digitorum is the main muscle on the anterior aspect of the forearm. So it runs from here. Oopsie, where am I going? This is the anterior view and it is this muscle on the forearm there. It's responsible for flexion of the fingers when you make a, fliss, a fist and also flexion of the wrist. You use it when you're gripping and punching. And the other muscle is the extensor digitorum and this is on the exact opposite side. It's on the posterior view. It's on the um, posterior side of your lower arm, of your forearm. It's attached to the fingers by long tendons over the posterior, posterior of the hand. It's responsible for extension of the fingers and extension of the wrist. You use it when you'd be setting up a shot in volleyball. Now, if you could just uh, pause the video for a little bit while you make sh while you get all those muscle names down and f complete them in your book and there are those extra ones that I want you to add as well because you need to be familiar with them.